It's the life-saving medicine for stroke victims, which has been dubbed a Jekyll and Hyde drug. Now Australian scientists have found a way to boost its benefits and block the harmful side effects. Ross Waldron doesn't look like a stroke victim, but seven years ago, it nearly claimed his life. He was forced to switch careers after working as a musician. I still can't feel much on the right side of my body at all, and I still have trouble with fine motor skills in my right hand. The clot-busting drug that was used on the then 29-year-old also triggered inflammation on the brain. The left side of my brain was so swollen it pushed the right side eight millimetres across. The gold standard clot busting treatment is called TPA, which works within hours for 80% of patients who suffer a stroke. But once the clot dissolves, the person's white blood cells flood in, triggering inflammation and further brain injury. We want the benefits of TPA, but we don't want the downside. And that's what this approach is all about. Scientists here at the Heart Research Institute are working on a therapy to stop that inflammation. They're only years away from a clinical trial. We're probably looking at four to five years before this could be done in large-scale trials. A majority of patients will benefit most from treatment when it's given within three hours of a stroke. The limit is usually four and a half hours. This discovery could extend the clock even further. That's what we hope and we're doing studies now to look at that. Recognising the signs of stroke are vital. They include weakness in the face and arms. When I had my stroke, it was like there was cotton wool and oil in my mouth. I had trouble articulating myself. Finding help sooner can make all the difference. Gabriella Rogers, Nine News.